America is falling. Falling and violence is covering the land like a flood. Let's cry for these great lands ones, because a day of reckoning is at hand. We are a truly fallen person, as we live in an absolutely broken country. George Floyd's death is evidence of how far we have fallen. The police brutality that has been going on for so long. How far we have fallen, and how far we have fallen in the day. The truth, of course, is that any evil you can imagine has exploded in our society in recent years, and the American people continue to come back for more. We had an insatiable appetite for evil, and now we are collecting. What we have planted. Do you think it is a coincidence that so many young people are completely and completely lawless? We have raised them in a completely upside-down society that says good and evil are good, and so their behavior should not surprise us now. If our teens really want to honor George Floyd, looting retail stores is definitely not the way to do it. Unfortunately, many of them use this crisis to go on a crime spree, and we see looting on a scale unlike anything we have seen before in this country. For example, one of the most famous retail stores in the heart of New York was definitely mobbing by looters on Monday night. Disturbing footage shows swarms of looters rushing into one of the world's most famous stores, Macy's flagship. On Herald Square, as Midtown descended into chaos overnight, one overhead video showed looters racing into one of the boarded-up entrances shortly before the curfew started Monday night, with only a small unexplained explosion seeming to halt the rush. Other clips showed a steady stream of cops finally arriving to follow the looters. Inside the Manhattan Superstore on 34th Street, which had been boarded up in a futile attempt to protect it from potential attack, hundreds of looters and rioters here with absolutely no concerns about cops being here. Rachel Olding said, along with one of the clips, "There has been a tremendous amount of looting on the West Coast as well." And a video that showed a vile mob brushlessly looting an Amazon delivery truck made headlines all over the globe, as many demonstrators gathered for a peaceful protest to condemn police brutality in Santa Monica, California, on Sunday. A group of individuals broke into several stores in the area, shattering glass and looting merchandise. While looters targeted various clothing stores in Santa Monica, one onlooker posted a video to social media showing a group of people breaking into an Amazon van, throwing objects at the vehicle to break its windows before gathering in the back as a larger group of people appeared to run away with packages. The competing messages, one conciliatory, one bellicose. Came as the United States braced for another round of violence at a time when the country is already buckling because of the coronavirus outbreak and the depression level unemployment it has caused. What happened to the United States in the world? I have been asking this question a lot lately. To me, it's absolutely unthinkable to allow looters to loot a store for 15 hours. But that's exactly what happened in a Shoprite location in Philadelphia. The owner of a West Philadelphia Shoprite says looters ravaged his store for 15 hours straight, taking whatever they wanted from the pharmacy, liquor department, and cash register. Jeff Brown says looters ransacked the Shoprite of Parkside and several other businesses. At the Park West Town Center, 52nd Street, over the weekend, many of the businesses were already on financially shaky ground after weeks of COVID-19 closures. They are now left cleaning up massive damage. A 
especially the poor elderly people that don't have bank accounts. This week they receive their income, they leave check to check and they can't go to the check cashing place because it's vandalized, said Atia Turner with Love is Key Corporation. In anticipation of the looting, a number of stores have been boarded up. Other businesses were not as lucky and now they have suffered a complete loss. Where else is such a thing allowed in the world? We once thought of ourselves as a shining example for the rest of the planet, but now the only example we have identified is a bad example. One of the things that is particularly worrying to me is the amount of violence we see against police officers. Four officers in St. Louis were just shot by the rebels. Four police officers were shot in downtown St. Louis early Tuesday as a day of peaceful protests turned into a violent and destructive night in the city. Hundreds of people had gathered across the St. Louis region Monday to protest the Memorial Day death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. And in Las Vegas, one police officer is fighting for his life after being shot in the head. In a night of deadly violence aimed at police officers, a cop in Las Vegas was shot in the head and is now on life support. Despite George Floyd's own family calling for an end to violence, multiple cities were again hit by mayhem last night. A suspect was taken into custody after an LV MPD officer was shot in the head near Circus Light last night. Being a police officer in this environment is one of the hardest jobs in America and things will not be easier in the coming days. So many of these young people have hearts that have gone completely ice cold and they do not seem to respect even the most basic human values. An excellent example of what I was talking about happened in Richmond, Virginia. The chief of the Richmond, Virginia police department said Sunday that rioters set fire to a multi-family home with a child inside while blocking access for firefighters to get through to save the child. One incident that is particularly poignant that truly illustrates the seriousness of the issues we are facing, Chief Will Smith told reporters. Protesters intentionally set fire to an occupied building on West Broad Street. This is not the only occupied building that has been set fire to in the last two days. They prohibited us from getting on scene. The police chief continued. We had to force our way to make a clear path for the fire department. Luckily, officers found a way to access the building, saving the child and rest of the family. When I use the word bad to describe such people, I'm not exaggerating. Unfortunately, many Americans still deny how bad our society has deteriorated. Did you know that there are people who have written to me to say that do negative because I have reported me about such things? I think we can all stick our hats to the sand and act as if everything will be fine somehow. But that thinks no one will be fine. Many people assume that I want everything to be scattered because I have a channel called Daily News Report. But this is not true at all. I love my country, I enjoy my life, and I would be perfectly pleased to spend 2020 in peace. Longer things may remain a bit normal, so good for all of us. Unfortunately, we have been making incredibly stupid decisions as a society for decades. And the results of these decisions are now largely catching us up. Most of idea, comment, information, and criticism containing in these videos have been created by Daily News Report. 
Before making any important investment decision, use the information contained in these videos as a starting point for conducting your own research. If you make any investment or legal decision, it is advised to consult an expert before making this decision.